Hey everyone, I'm Jesse and welcome to my review for the Baby Metal uh, Live Legend S Blu-ray, uh, the one edition, uh, which if you saw my unboxing video, came with this uh, photo book and as always whenever there's a photo book, I will show the thing in full at the end of this video uh, on a tripod with the camera pointing down, uh, give you the best view that I can. Uh, this is of course the first and hopefully last uh, uh, Blu-ray concert uh, without Yui. It starts off very blurry, um, trying to remain mysterious, I guess. I found it kind of annoying <laughs> that they did that for the first couple of minutes. The stage and lights, as always, is uh, very, very cool. Uh, Py I'm a huge uh, fan of uh, Pyro. Uh, there was an okay amount in this show, uh, not as much as in some other shows like the Tokyo Dome, uh, but still pretty good. So performances ranged from uh, very good to kind of weird uh, without Yui, depending on the song. Uh, some in particular that come into mind are Gimme Chocolate and Song 4. Um, I think even if you showed this, showed those performances to someone not familiar with baby metal, they would, I'm sure they would think this and think to themselves, uh, you know, is there something missing here? It, 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 it just has this feeling of uh, there's something or someone missing. <laughs> <laughs> it's incomplete um so it was odd uh good but odd um and then uh, but there's uh plenty of solos as well uh suz akatsuki and uh uh no rain no rainbow which was amazing excellent performance uh, they did syncopation which made me very happy i i always love uh, another syncopation uh performance so throughout the show you notice or not notice Yui's absence uh, it de all depends on the song uh, obviously for solo songs like Akatsuki and No Rain No Rainbow makes no difference and then there's uh, other songs that do have all three of them but it's uh, mostly about Sue anyway like Syncopation one of my favorite songs that was great uh, Karate was a song uh, performance that I thought uh, worked uh, well enough without her um, obviously would have been better with her but uh, that was fine. And when, uh, when uh, Moa did uh, some uh, solo songs, like GJ by herself and uh, Song 4 by herself, kind of weird. She did a great job, but it's pretty obvious that there's someone missing there. Uh, there's no instrumental this time from Kami Band, which was a little disappointing. Uh, I, was, uh, hoping to, I was hoping that they were going to do one, but uh, no, it was, it was, that was odd. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, the finale is great. Uh, the finale is very reminiscent of Legend of Live Legend Apocalypse 1997-1999, uh, when Sue gets crucified. Uh, this time it's on uh, the that circular symbol. Um, they do it almost exactly the same as they as they do in the previous show. And I have to say, uh, is and. As, I have to say, as, as, as cool as that is, uh, it's not as cool as uh, Live Legend 97-99. Because um, that was on a cross, which is it's just cooler, it's just more metal. And uh, it's also the first time they did it. Uh, so they're rep repeating themselves a little bit here. Uh, but changing it up to still be interesting and awesome. And then the, at the very end... Um, uh, Sue and Moa come out in these costumes that uh, I don't really like them. <laughs> I thought they're the, the the headgear especially is a little silly. Um, not a fan. So I'm glad they didn't wear that throughout the whole show. Um, but anyways, uh, even though uh, Yui's absence in this is very obvious, uh, I would still recommend picking it up. Uh, the one edition is all sold out. Um, but if you can get a copy of the regular edition, um, I would still recommend it. I mean, it's still a great show, uh, great finale, awesome stage with the, the, the multi Fox head stage and, uh, different costumes. And, uh, you also get at the very beginning, I forgot to mention, <laughs> uh, in the name of, uh, first, uh, first time in the name of is, perf is, uh, on uh, any of the Blu-rays. And that's a really cool opener. I forgot all about that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Awesome opener. Um, awesome opener, awesome closer, and it's also kind of interesting to see uh, a show without one of the members, what, what that's like. Even though throughout the show, you know, I was kind of almost reminded constantly uh, that Yui wasn't there, I still really enjoyed it. I still had a good time watching it, uh, and I'm going to watch it again, and I'm going to listen to the live uh, CDs that uh, this edition comes with. Uh, so, yeah. 
still recommended by me. Um, and so, yeah, so now uh, let's take a look at the photo book. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully uh, you can see this well enough. <laughs> Now, I know you could decipher this, but uh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> There's the opening. Very cool. And as always, if, uh, if I'm going too fast, you know, just, just pause it. Hopefully I'm not getting too much glare on here. Did my best to uh, find the best position uh, I could for this, for minimal glare and such. But, uh, yeah, really cool stage. Is that still? Well, sorry if that's too much glare or there's uh, too much exposure. Yeah, it's a little bright, but uh, oh well. So, uh, anybody watching this video, uh, did you uh, see this concert? Did you pick it up yourself or see it some other way? Uh, if so, what did you think? Because uh, I really enjoyed it, even though uh, Yui wasn't in it, and I wish she was, but uh, I still thought it was a great show. Awesome crowd show, I like that. This is one of my favorite parts of the show. These are very cool photos. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> And yeah, the the headgear, not a fan, a little silly, but whatever. <laughs> nice photos. And that is it. A new legend starts here. Cool, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Please give this a like if you liked it, uh, subscribe, and uh, see ya.